Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is a drug propyl thiourosyl. Uh, this is a very important drug for USMLE step one uh, examination. Uh, before uh, starting this um, discussion on this uh, topic, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, please tell your friends to subscribe. You can share these videos with your friends so that they can watch, okay, and they can subscribe. Um, if you have any updates regarding this drug or any video I uploaded, please tell us through the comments. Okay, if you have any feedback, please give us so that uh, we will improve next time. Okay, uh, let me start with this. It's a thyroid derived drug used to treat uh, hyperthyroidism, including Graves' disease, by decreasing the amount of thyroid hormone produced by the thyroid gland. Its notable side effects include a risk of agranulocytosis. This is the general information about this drug. So, okay. Okay, uh, look at this, uh, the central, the propyl thyroxyl, that's a PTU, inhibits the enzyme thyroperoxidase, which normally acts in the thyroid hormone synthesis by oxidizing anion, uh, ion, um, anion iodide uh, to iodine, uh, facilitating the iodine's addition to tyrosine residues on the hormone precursor thyroglobulin. Uh, this is one of the essential steps in the formation of thyroxine. This is how it acts. Uh, PTU does not inhibit the action of sodium dependent iodide transporter located on the follicular cells that's the basal uh, lateral membranes inhibition of this step requires competitive inhibitors such as perchlorate or theosinate okay um, peripherally ptu also acts by inhibiting the enzyme 5 deiodinase uh, which converts a T4 to the active form a T3. This is in the contrast to methimazole, which uh, shares propethyrosyl's central mechanism, but not its a peripheral one. Look at this. One possible side effect is agranulocytosis, a decrease of uh, white cell blood cells in the body. Uh, symptoms and the signs of agranulocytosis includes infectious lesions of the throat, gastrointestinal tract, and the skin with an overall feeling of illness and the fever. A decrease in the blood platelets, thrombocytopenia, may also occur. Since platelets are important for a clotting of the blood, thrombocytopenia may lead to problems with the excessive bleeding. A more life-threatening side effect is a sudden, severe, fulminant hepatic failure resulting in the death or a liver transplantation which occurs in up to one in 10,000 people taking propyl thyroxyl. Unlike agranulocytosis, which most commonly occurs in the first three months of the therapy, this side effect may occur at any time during the treatment. Uh, propyl thyroxyl is a generally well tolerated with the side effects uh, occurring in one in every 10 patients, 100 patients. Sorry. The most common side effects are related to the skin and including rash, itching, hives, uh, abnormal hair loss, skin pigmentations. Uh, other common side effects are swelling, nausea, vomiting, heartburns, loss of taste, joint and muscle aches, numbness, headache, allergic reactions and hair whitening. Propyl thyroxyl in pregnancy. This is very important. It's a class, it belongs to class D in a pregnancy. Class D signifies there is a positive evidence of a human fetal risk. Maternal benefits may outweigh fetal risk in a life-threatening situations. PTU is a preferred over methimazole only in the first trimester of the pregnancy and in women who may become pregnant. In second and trim third trimester, methimazole is preferred. The primary effect on the fetus from a transplacental passage of PTU is the production of a mild hypothyroidism uh, when the drug is used to used close to term. Uh, this usually resolves within a few days without treatment. The hypothyroid state may be observed as a goiter in the newborn and is result of increased levels of fetal pituitary and pituitary thyrotropin. The incidence of the fetal goiter after PTU treatment uh, reported cases is approximately 12%. Okay, this is about the general information and very important information of the PTU. 